All right, so today is Tuesday, January 11th. Today's my older brother Austin's birthday. Happy birthday, Austin. But uh, yesterday, me and my grandma went out thrifting, and I found some pretty good stuff. Uh, I don't have the video games. I sent them into Amazon, or a lot of them anyways, but the ones that were better for eBay I still have. This one I just listed, Godzilla Save the Earth. Uh, this is about $50, $60. Um, it's missing the manual, but still worth picking up. Um, this guy right here, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. So I picked that up for $9, and when I got it, it I, I couldn't find disc 19, and there's like 40 discs in there. But it had all the rest of them, and they were selling for like $70 to $100. So I was like, well, for 10, I could still make some money. And uh, I was flipping through it again, and disc 19 was behind disc 18. And I just overlooked it. But uh, yeah, so it's complete. I got it listed for 80. Um, I got another Wii for $40, but it came with a controller and a weird looking AV cable. Uh, probably be able to profit like $20 off of it, but still not bad um some of the other stuff i got down here so i've been uh i've been working on my death pile pretty good i got it pretty manageable now like this was completely overflowing and that's one reason that i haven't been making videos lately but i should be back to it uh this is more stuff that i got yesterday i got this uh, avatar figure from the james cameron movie this doll case surprisingly goes for like $25. I paid four for it. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. It's got an old doll inside. But uh, yeah, so that'll be listed. I can't remember what these guys are called, like the Centurions or something. Uh, the green one looks like Burt Reynolds, but I knew what this was immediately. He has his helmet, and he was only a dollar, so I picked him up. Uh, this is one that I had when I was a kid. I thought I didn't have it, but I do. It's still worth selling on eBay. I think I paid $4 for it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I couldn't find any listings for this, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it. It was $4. It's Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Uh, it's a Comedy Central series from the 90s. Uh... But yeah, it's got a lot of celebrities on it. Figured to pick it up just to see how it did. Found a couple of uh, these guys. Space Makers pencil boxes. Some more of those. Um, I've acquired quite a bit of them since I've been looking. I uh, figured they'd turn up once I did. Let's see... This is one to look out for. This is Liberty Kids. This is worth about uh, 30 to $40. I picked it up for a dollar. Uh, my favorite finds yesterday, this is a 1993 Space Makers pencil box. I'm probably gonna keep this one. It's two-toned, but uh, it's pretty neat. And me and my grandma are walking around and I saw this. G.I. Joe Thermos, 1986, it was a dollar. Missing the, the top to it, but I don't already have this one. And then kept walking around, and I found this. 1989 G.I. Joe lunchbox, and guess what's inside? The 1989 Thermos. I've already got this Thermos, so I'll see if Josh wants it, if he doesn't, or if he already has it. I'll sell it, but uh, I'll keep the lunch box because up there, I've got a pretty good assortment of lunch boxes. Uh, pretty soon I plan to move my eBay room into one of the bedrooms in my house because it's really cold in here. Running off a little space heater. And the rest of it's just like piddly stuff, but I figured I'd show that off and what I've been doing today. Um, I've only missed like two or three days in the past... I missed the weekend that I haven't listed at least 10 items on eBay. Uh, today, I purged my VHS tapes. If I can figure out how my finger works backwards. 
but uh got rid of a lot of like low-end vhs's that didn't need to be on ebay they weren't moving but uh yeah i'll keep you updated all right so uh, i ran to the post office and dropped off a camera that sold it was a sanrio like one of the rare characters to be on stuff but uh, i sold a little like uh, a little camera i'll put it here it sold for 99 dollars to somebody in california um also got an update that the dr quinn medicine woman sold for full asking price of 79.99 uh but after I went to the post office, I came to Hearts Crying Elgin and I found this. It's like a hand painted wine bottle of Gen 2 Pokemon. The the starters for uh whatever the Yeah. You know. You blew it! Uh I got these to just like throw in with my packages. Got some amazing Spider-Man Valentines, and I'm not sure if this one's new or not, but I'll probably just use those too, but it's Civil War. Uh, getting these reminded me that I have some uh, vintage ones I picked up last year. I need to get listed before February, and uh, a couple of years ago on clearance, I got some Jurassic Park ones for like nine cents. And then I found a 2001 Powerpuff Girls gift bag for 75 cents. And I found a wrestler from 2011. It's an elite figure. I, I scanned it on Google and it, I didn't really look up comps, but it was only 75 cents. So maybe that's worth 10. Could be worth more. You never know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to this one across the street and if I get anything, I'll let you know. And uh, if I don't, I'll see you back in the eBay room. All right, so it is Friday. Um, earlier this week, I sold a Lizzie McGuire cookie jar. We'll put it right here. And uh, shipped it through UPS, had fragile written all over it and it got broken. So, we lost $28 on that. I think that's what I had in it. So, but, uh, yeah. Um, today we shipped out a VCR. It sold for $30 plus shipping. I think I had like five into it. We sold a Guitar Hero guitar for PlayStation 2. Got it for $2. It sold for 30 plus shipping and it went through the GSP uh let's see sold a wii remote i got another wii earlier this week the wii sold for 40 dollars. i paid 40 dollars for the bundle and it had the wii i was hoping there was a game in it but there wasn't anything in it uh the con the the wii sold for 40 the controller and nunchuck sold for 20 free shipping so around 15 dollars and then it came with a weird uh, cable. So I have that listed for 10, I think. So there's another 10 if it sells. But, uh, yeah, I sold a DVD for like 20 or $30. And a couple other things, but uh, not too bad. I mean, the cookie jar kind of sucked. But other than that, everything's going good. Uh, I'm about to start my 10 listings for today, so there we go.